Hundreds of UVM students gathered together to address sexual misconduct on campus today. Students are asking the administration to do more to support student survivors. Local 22's Jolie Sherman is live from the University of Vermont with more on the effort. Jolie. Well, Lauren, students just hours ago marched around campus before congregating right outside the Waterman building as part of the Survivor Solidarity Walkout. Some of their demands include better prevention training and reporting process. A sea of students stood in solidarity for survivors of sexual violence. Catamounts marched with signs before listening to testimonies from their peers. Just being there and for being here. Thank you. UVM student Athena Hendrick was assaulted in February 2020. She's outraged by the way the school handled her case, but she comes forward and inspired others to do the same. I also am a survivor. I think a lot of people still don't know what consent really is and the levels of it, you know. Another says Monday's turnout is a message in and of itself. It shows how big of an issue this is to the student body. This is a problem. We all think it's a problem, and you should too. UVM's interim vice provost of student affairs says the school is quickly responding to students' demands. There's a big focus on training in sexual violence prevention, which I think is critically important. Um, students are asking for staffing and resources to be visible. She says staff are also reevaluating the reporting process. Students took a moment of silence at times and applauded Athena's bravery. Lieutenant Governor Molly Gray voiced her support, saying, quote, I see you and I believe you. Even though we only have like one week left of classes and like two weeks of finals before we all head home, it's, it's really telling of the dedication of the student body to these, to these issues that affect us directly. Lauren, UVM's Union of Students organized this event with the support of several other student organizations. Campus police were also here blocking off a few streets so that students could go about the rally peacefully. Reporting live tonight, Julie Sherman, Local 22 News.